Hello everyone and welcome back to This Day in History, our nightly look back at a specific day in history, where we take a look back at the events of a day, the historic context in which those events took place, and the historic ramifications of those events. As always, if you have not yet, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, and tell a friend. And without any further ado, This Day in History, July 15th. And on this day in 1986, Columbia Records dropped singer Johnny Cash from its label. Columbia first signed Cash in 1960, using a lucrative contract to lure him away from Sun Records, his first label, and the early home of Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Carl Perkins. Cash, first top Columbia single, all over again, made the country top five and his second, Don't Take Your Guns to Town, made it all the way to number one, while also crossing over the top, top 40. But the biggest hits of Cash's career were yet to come, including an incredible eight number one albums in an eight year span, Ring of Fire, The Best of Johnny Cash, 1963, I Walk the Line, 1964, Johnny Cash, Greatest Hits, 1967, at Folsom Prism, 1968. At San Quentin, 1969. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash, 1970. The Johnny Cash Show, also 1970. And The Man in Black, 1971. <laughs> During this period, Johnny Cash established himself as a titanic figure in American popular culture while selling millions of records for Columbia. But by the mid-80s, Fashions and country music had shifted dramatically away from his old school style, and the hits stopped coming for Columbia. Cash enjoyed rejuvenation in the early 90s and later in his life with the record studio American Recordings. <laughs> 